in a past life, I tasted wind on my tongue and felt rain in my left knee. In a past life, I looked to bird flight, silence and coo. The rain doesn't fall sweet anymore, filled with ash and acid washing ozone and particle load. Air sits heavy on the horizon, masking skyfall and skyline with chemical fog so thick that treetops and buildings fade into ebbless shadows. It's all very confusing. Ever since the forest caught fire, and again, and again, I check my phone for warnings, telling me if it's safe to breathe the outside, let the air in. I check my phone for quotients I don't understand and color codes cataloged in greens, yellows, oranges, and reds. Percentages and hyperlinks to pressure systems, flood warnings and advisories, alerts for geotag locations blanket each page, and I'm confused if they are really happening or predictions with no home. The connectivity of life through nature, the environment, weather, weaving infinitely together in opposition. A thread expanding, unending, and breaking periodically, reattaching itself. With or without human interruption, intervention, attempts at harmonium, this evolutionary cocoon that has been cracked, scarred, marred, and battered still tries to hold us. Shield us, despite the gaping holes and sunken spaces where roots and gullies, fresh water and canopy once lay, it still holds us. Electrified and overstimulated are we both, racing to achieve a homeostatic rate of collective respiration and photosynthetic survival. In a past life, I rose with the sun and felt damp cold in my lower hip. Today, I see leaves turning their backs to the sky and touch a few of their thirsting veins in awe at their response. Rain is coming. I forget my phone and smell petrochemicals from the pavement mix into the stagnant heat as 10 drops hit my forehead in succession and I run into an open doorway, remembering that today's forecast said clear and sunny. It's all very confusing. <laughs>